What's up everybody? It is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below and let your clan and alliance know that you have found the best place to get Clash of Kings material to get better at the game and to, you know, all around improve. There's literally no one who's ever came to this channel and hasn't learned something. I don't care who you are, you've learned something. Um, even the haters admit it, you've learned something. So, guys, as you know, there's some new stuff in the castle, so let's go check it out. You guys, I don't know if you remember, um, maybe a week or two ago, I told you guys, I saw the picture of what it was going to look like, and I kind of explained there was like some red dirt up to the left, um, and then behind the waterfall, there was going to be all this stuff. So, as you can see, nothing's been placed here yet, but as soon as I'm going to be able to, um, as soon as I'm able to get some information on it, so right now they've got these little chests and stuff, there will be more stuff coming. Now, I hope and I wish that this would be a battlefield. Like, this is, like, if you fought someone, like, you would fight on, like, a battlefield like this. And then you would, like, you know, have to position your army and stuff. That would be so cool, guys. Like, ah, oh, I would love it so much if they would do that. To have, like, an actual, an actual, like, real... I'm telling you, if they don't do it, a game will come along. Like Clash of Kings with this, like, MMO, RTS, R um like strategy thing where you build your castle you collect your troops you make your equipment you do all this stuff but one of them is going to find a way to incorporate real-time battles to where when you battle someone it's just not hey i'm going to take my troops and ram them down your troops throat and there's nothing you can do about it it's going to be we're going to fight and i might have stronger troops than you but if i don't know how to work, maneuver the troops and i don't know how to position my troops to lair um maybe to flank uh maybe to bait out something you, there's so much so many intricacies of war and if they can find a way to do this guys imagine if they could do that i don't think that's what it is i haven't seen yet um i haven't been able to get any my lord we are building the hero palace you will meet many people here some of them may offer you great help it will be a great place when the building okay so it looks like they're gonna be building a building called the hero palace so very disappointing um but maybe in the future the battle could take place here and they can make it um you know look a little nicer like see that seam why is there a seam in here it's because they added it on they need they didn't they never thought they were gonna match the colors up apparently so they need to work on that because that's a little tacky um this looks cool what's this here feature isn't available yet please stay tuned so they're gonna be putting something here i think they're gonna be putting something here in that building as well and then of course i think many things will go here but yeah one of these days guys i think clash of kings will get it together and there will be real-time battles taking place um when the two to five player um challenges start happening that they told us about i think that's might be what this is for i promise you we're gonna be doing tournaments on the channel we're gonna be doing a lot of fun things you know if a game isn't esports level, then it isn't really, you know, that great of a game. And Clash Royale's esports, Vainglory's esports, those are two mobile games that are esports already. If Clash of Kings can get it together and figure out a way to take the game to esports, it'd be amazing. And, um, you know, I don't care if they make a whole new game or if it's an offshoot of this or if it's just, they just add two Clash of Kings, that'd be the best way. Um, it'd be so fun, so much fun. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is what the new, new castle looks like. Um, you know, they could even add some stuff up here in the mountains. Um, they could, you know, always edit this and put stuff in. But it, so far, we know it's going to be that. And then there's going to be a building here called the Hero Palace. So, that's the new stuff in the castle. Um, so, about what we talked about yesterday, the new game Clash of Kings 2, guys. So, um, the reason that it says 18 and plus... That's just like the rating, like you know things are like PG-13, uh, rated R. It's just a rating and I think it's like going to be because of like uh, gore and blood and stuff like that. I think it's going to be like a little bit more realistic. And it's got two more Prestige 3 tents. That's going to be, or Prestige 4, that's going to be great to train troops. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more gory I think because of the like 3D graphics and stuff. Let's go out here so I can show you. Because of like the 3D graphics and stuff, you're gonna be able to like twist around. I think it's just gonna be more in depth, and um, unlike this, like I think when you attack these guys, they like explode. I think it's gonna be a lot more graphic than this. I think it's gonna be. Um, let's see if he explodes. 
Usually they explode. Go on and explode. Don't just sit there and glitch out all day. There it goes. See how they explode like that? I think it's going to be like that, but since it's like in 3D, I think it's going to be more realistic. I haven't got any confirmation if it's going to have any real-time battling. That's the next step in these games, guys. I'm telling you, that's the next step in... Whoever does it, it's going to be huge. It'll be... It'll be on the same level as Clash Royale, maybe bigger, because if you guys remember, Clash Royale would kind of like be like maybe the, uh, uh, the Warcraft, like the original RTS Warcraft. If, um, if Clash of Kings came out with real-time battling, it would be the Age of Empires with mobile gaming. And Age of Empires was a massive game. It, um, they were having $100,000 tournaments back in the day. 15 years later, they're still having $100,000 tournaments to at, to this day because it's a real-time battling if you guys don't know what age of empires is look it up on youtube there's a guy named mem um mem age of empires he does uh commentating for top level gameplay and uh yeah it's 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 good stuff i i watch it pretty much every day i'll watch battles i'll watch the best players play each other and um you know it's pretty awesome so guys i'm always going to keep you posted on the new things that are coming into the game i'll give you sneak peeks when i hear them i'll give you leaks when i uh get them and um yeah i told you about this was coming a couple weeks ago and then it's finally here so you can explore around it's pretty cool to have like a bigger castle inside you know before we were just kind of like stuck in this little like capsule but now starting to like see the you know it, they almost doubled they did double they definitely doubled the uh size inside the castle but next the only thing they need to make is an arena i don't care if they just make like a game where it's like a hard game like um like even a simpler clash royale where they just have like a thing like this and they put like um like a an objective here like a tower here just think about this guys visualize this where that blue thing is imagine a tower there and then i've got a tower but it's like you know more lined up to like with the screen and then um you know it could even be like this and then i'll have my troops and then i just like i click a troop type and then i can just like you know tap and tell them where to go and then once they get in range of each other they start attacking so if you've got archers i can put my archers like you know some chests may appear in your city okay yeah that's just it so i could drag my archers over i could um you know i could put different formations on like uh you could have like over here where these things are the buildings up here i could have you could have like formations where you could like have them in a staggered formation closed formation you could flank your cavalry you could um you know bait people in and then you know hit them with your trebuchets mangonels rams so many cool things you could do it wouldn't be that hard if you guys have ever seen vainglory or clash royale vainglory is a full on um what are those games called oh no what are those games called guys like league of legends or whatever um moba it's like a moba game on tablet i might start making videos for it if you guys watch them it's a really cool looking game the graphics the graphics are out of this world for a mobile game it's they're unbelievable but um clash royale the graphics aren't that insane in that it wouldn't take that long to develop a game like that i wouldn't think and uh just put real time troops in it you could add that to this game to where like you select so many of your troops to go battle or you could take them all with you i don't know imagine if you had like multiplayer like you know they're getting the two to five player teams imagine if like you know you and five of your allies could go face like cua and five of their allies and we could um we could battle imagine how insane that would be to take all of our troops on the one battlefield and then we're trying to take each other's towers or castles or whatever you want to call them whatever objectives you want to call them and if they wanted to go even to the next level beyond just war you would add an economic basis to it where you could put well like in clash royale it's called an elixir collector but in like age of empires you collect wood food so the resources would be out on the fields and you would be going to gather them and then they would like you know they can attack your resource gatherers just kind of like you know clash of kings i think was inspired by age of empires but they got away from the real-time battle aspect and that's all i want guys i hope you guys want it too so you know what that's going to be our next objective with clash of kings i want all of you to mail clash of kings and tell them we want real-time battling we want real-time decision making we're sick of we're sick and tired of there being very little skill involved in the game we want to we want to show our skills we want to show that we're better at commanding an army than the enemy is because right now it you know if you got the troops you win but if you can control the troops 
you can be way weaker and still beat them because you outmaneuvered them. So, let's get a hold of Clash of Kings, guys, and let's tell them that we want this. I'll start a movement again if I have to. Make Clash of Kings great again. It is nowhere close to over yet. And um, the last one was just the warm-up. They gave us a nice uh, message about things that are coming into the game that's going to help. But we still don't have research stones yet. We still don't have enough of the dragon stones yet. I need to do my thing for today. Speaking of which, the trials. We still don't got enough stones. We still don't got enough badges. We don't, still don't have enough stuff. So, if you're not going to give us the stuff we need, at least let us win as smaller castles by getting real-time battle. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there'll be some more videos coming. Of course, uh, ancient, the Dragon Campaign live stream, Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We destroyed literally like six Prestige 5s last week that had over 40 million power each. They even had a Prestige 4 and a Prestige 3 over 50 million power. And we th th dismantled them. And Rick had his wedding, so he couldn't even help that long. But we dismantled them. So guys, it's a real good party. We have a lot of fun. I'll be doing a giveaway on the stream, as always. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. I'll see you in the next video. Remember that teamwork makes a dream work. Smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.